I finished my 12th standard. The next issue was, what should I do? You know, there was this question which, uh, which was tormenting everyone's mind in the family. What should you do after 12th? Even now, I think all parents, when the son or the daughter comes to 12th standard, they spend sleepless nights thinking about what to do next because that is the gateway to your future. Okay. So, in my house, we were a joint family. So many uncles and aunts and cousins and all that. Yes. So, there was a discussion. There was an uncle, there is an uncle, he is about 90 years old now, who had done about 20 degrees. He was the intellectual in the family. And so everyone turned to him. He said, you must do CA. CA was the in thing those days. And another uncle was there, he was working in Hindustan Aeronautics. He said, no, 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 you do engineering. You know, it, engineering is, uh, we need a lot of good engineers, you do engineering. And my father said, in my opinion, you should do medicine. And his logic was very simple. You know what he said? Your sister's books are there. <laughs> I need not buy books again. <laughs> So you do medicine. But I had already given my heart to Swami. I didn't want to move out of Vrindavan. But all elders are telling like this. So what do I tell? So I just asked them, you know, in our family, we had a lot of respect for elders. We would not back answer them. So I just said, after everyone finished, if Swami says something, can I? Everyone unanimously said, Swami is Supreme Court. Whatever Swami says, automatically, that is the thing. That year, I went to Uti with Swami. There was this Uti summer course, 1976. One evening, some spokes in the wheel had gone wrong. You know, when you are with Swami, things are ne never as rosy as they appear. Lessons are always on the way. <laughs> Okay. It's very beautiful after the experience, but during the experience, it's quite tight. Swami had caught some of the boys talking, chatting. You know, one thing that Swami does, never liked was wasting time chatting. Okay. Unnecessary talk. He never liked that. So, he used to always tell us, maintain the vow of silence. Okay. Then only you can think of God. Swami had caught one of, and so Swami is not talking to us. And all the attention he was giving our sisters, all that we should have got, they were getting, Swami is talking to them only and we were sitting here. We were totally non-existent for Swami. You know, Swami, that art he had perfected so much, I tell you. When he, when he ignores you, you yourself start getting doubt whether you are there. So perfect it will be. So, one day, I was sitting in the bhajan group. And there was this gentleman by name Sohan Lal. He was the state president of Delhi at that time. And he was speaking. And Swami was sitting here. I was sitting just about three feet away from Swami. And he said, how lucky you boys are. See, Swami decides everything for you. Swami decides what you should study. Swami decides uh, what uh, job you must do. Swami decides... He kept on saying that. And the irony hit me so much that I couldn't control myself. I, I laughed like, I laughed like that. Swami had not looked at me for, looked at us for 10 days, suddenly looked at me at that time. Looked at me like that. And I started thinking of what all things I have to pack. I went, went to the hostel, packed all my luggage, kept it ready. Now warden is going to come and he'll give you only two options. Do you want to go by the 7.15 bus or 7.30 bus? That's all it will be. So, the warden comes. And he looks at all of us, talks to everyone very happily. And then I thought, maybe he didn't notice me. So, I said, Sairam, sir. I am a warden no, now. I know what it means. <laughs> so, he looked at me and said, Sairam, Vikmar, he said. And he went off. He would definitely have not missed me if Swami had sent word. So, I don't know what happened. I got saved that night. 
So that night as I was lying down, Swami came in my dream and said, Hey, next to, Yedi cheste MSC cheyo chodhi chey. Do that which will help you to do MSC later. I said, fine. So CA is out. Engineering is out. Medicine is out. I can be with Swami. Very, very happy. I sent a telegram to my father saying that Swami has chosen this for me. Okay. So I decided to do BSc in Brindavan. Now the next question was, what do you do, science or commerce? Okay. I didn't want to do commerce because you have to shift stream. But do you do bioscience or do you do uh, mathematics? Now, there was a classmate of mine, okay, who said, hey, Ravikmar, you are very lucky, he told me. I asked him, why? We are dissecting a frog. He said, see, I have been noticing this, that every frog you dissect has some unique features. If circulatory system you are dissecting, its heart is missing. Nervous system, brain is missing. You are lucky that it's a frog. If it was a human being, they would, it would go to Supreme Court, yeah? You don't take up medicine, he told me. So I decided I will not do medicine. But already mathematics, once I had drowned, Swami had pulled me out. Now that was the other option. Do I do mathematics? How do I do mathematics? I mean, how many times can you ask even God to intervene in your... So, I was wondering what to do. Swami tells me, hey, mathematics check. That's sealed. I went back, picked up MSc, MPC and did mathematics. Today, I can tell you this without an iota of pride because I know it is not my achievement. That when I finished, I got a university rank. I was very... I was very jubilant. I went to Swami's room and I was waiting outside. Swami came. Amy, he asked me, what? I said, Swami, Namaskar. Enduku, Swami asked. What, for what do you need Namaskar? Swami, I've got a rank. He said, mathematics he asked. I said, Swami, 90 ochindi, Swami. He said, 90, oka marka. Is that a mark? In mathematics, you should get centum. That's what Swami told me. And he walked away. After going 10 steps, he said, Come, Papam, Chesko. He said, Give me Namaskar. Why I'm telling you this is, he is Sarvashakti Murti. He can not only do anything himself, he can make you do anything. You see, that is the beauty. When you give your life to him, he makes your life such a beautiful journey, such a wonderful journey that you never know that you can do such things. He makes you do fantastic things.